Hi, this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation, LLC, and now that the AquaJet has been released, we'd like to make some videos to kind of help you guys out, and the first one that we're going to do, because the AquaJet is a little bit different than any other watering system, we're going to show you a better way to glue the AquaJet, or the best way, you should say, to glue the AquaJet so that you don't impede the bottom hole or, or the water flow because of its shape. So what I'd like to do is show you uh, the coupler first, and part of the aqua jet that we're going to glue so as you see the aqua jet is straight down right here so there's no joint and we got a nice tight fit where it's going to slide right on and so what we use is some red hot Christie's blue glue now we're in a warm climate so we don't need to use any primer you might want to use primer if you're in a cold climate but uh, the fact is Christie's red hot blue glue has the same uh, properties as primers and we we're talking to the factory rep and he said you don't need to use that if you're using the red hot blue glue, but if you're in a cold climate, you might want to use a primer to warm it up and clean it off. So what we have here is the glue, and unlike the other watering system that we told you about this, you have to cake it on and everything, that you just don't want to do on this one because we do have a nice <clears throat> tight fit. So I'm going to take the glue, dip the brush like so, you know, because you don't want to mess it around. So take that, and if you come closer with the camera, you'll see that I'm just going to paint it on and go around the small part here and back up the other wall. And you notice I've only dipped a brush once there. So I got enough here to make sure there's no globs there. So you see there's just a little bit. Then you take the coupler, hold it upside down to where the big part is down, like that, large part down, and just dip around just a little bit in, the, in that part, and that's all. You don't really want to get a lot, just a little. And you don't want to get any in the small part up here, so that's all clean, so that when you put it on, just slide all the way down, hold it for about five seconds, like so, and then you got the perfect amount of glue on the bottom where it doesn't impede it. So, like I say, what you do is come closer with the camera, I'll show you. You come around here with the glue, you come all the way around here, make sure it doesn't glob, just a stripe as you see me paint it on, and once again, in the coupler or the adapter, you just get a little along the side right here and then nothing on top. So we're going to go ahead and do this again on the coupler and glue these two pieces together. These are two two-foot pieces which should make up for a four-foot raised bed garden, so to speak. So what we're going to do one more time, show you on the coupler. Okay, so you're going to dip in here, take the AquaJet, once again, just come around and go around the outside there. Make sure it doesn't glob on the small end. You just want to get a stripe in there. Okay, so just paint it on there. Like I say, you don't want it dripping around or anything. You don't need a lot because it is a nice tight fit there. Okay, then in the coupler, just a little at the bottom. I didn't even dip the brush in this time. Just a little at the bottom and on the sidewall, and that's it. Nothing on the small part, nothing in there because you don't want it to scoop that glue. And you take the pieces, fit them in. Like I said, we're a nice tight fit here, so there we go. Fit them in, squeeze it in. Hold it for about five seconds so it doesn't squeeze out because these are telescopes, and there you have it. Nice tight fit with a nice tight glue. And once again, you get the perfect amount of glue. What happens otherwise, if you put it on the small part of the coupler and you squeeze that aqua jet into it, what's going to happen is it's going to scoop that glue into a ball, and that little ball is going to impede the water flow on the bottom of the tube. So you don't put any on the inside of the coupler on the bottom, just on the bottom of the aqua jet, and that's just enough right there. And then you lube up the bottom of the coupler on the large part, remember, just the large part only, and nothing up here. All the way around on the aqua jet, the bottom of the big part, nothing on the small part, that's the perfect part. And then when you look in there, you'll notice that you got, you still have a little bead of glue that goes around, that's just perfect. So now, what we want to do is show you the coupler and the end cap. For those of you who wonder about the end cap, what you can do is the, you have the AquaJet adapter, which we use as the water source coming in, and we also use it as an end cap. You take one end cap like this, and once again, you take the glue, and you know, for a sense of redundancy, I don't have to do that, but you take the glue, you glue around here a little bit in the cap, you glue it on, and you have an end cap. Now, you must have a coupler within your configuration for the water to drop down. Remember that water doesn't drop down at the at the beginning or at the end, only in the couplers. So if you have a four foot garden, you're gonna get two 
two footers and you have a coupler in the middle. So once again, that is gluing the AquaJet. And what we want to show you now, real quickly, is cutting the AquaJet because it too is just a little bit different. So we showed you the gluing aspect, the best way to glue the AquaJet. We hope that does help you. And now we're going to cut the AquaJet right down the center here of this one. What I have here is your, just your regular PVC cutters. You can get these anywhere, Home Depot, Harbor Freight, anywhere for $10, $11, or you can buy the expensive ones for $100, but these do just as well. And what you want to do is you want to take the blade part of it. As you notice, you have a blade, and it ratchets down each time. Until it's cut all the way through the PVC, and then it's a nice, clean cut. Then you open it back up again for the next one. But in this configuration, you take the blade, and you want to put it against a small part of the AquaJet because it's real strong down here and you have you know it's a tube is larger up here if you put the blade on the top it's going to squish it a little bit and mushroom it just a little and you don't want that but when you put it down here on the strong it just goes right through and we're going to show you what we mean sorry about that okay the blade the small end okay put it in there and just start ratcheting down you see how it just starts cutting right through with no squishing or anything just a nice easy cut and that's a nice clean cut too. If you use a saw, you'll get some, uh, you know, little bits of, of burrs and that that may get in here. So you get a nice clean cut on the AquaJet, as you see, a nice straight clean cut, and therefore you're ready to go for the next one. If you were to take it and if you put it on the top, what's going to happen, like I almost did the first time, is you're going to squish down on the AquaJet. As you see, it mushes down just a little bit. Sure, to cut right through like it did right there. But, you know, like I said, the easier way to do it is to come from the backside, small part with the blade. And as you see, it's got a lot of strength on the bottom there, and it just cuts right through. Almost as strong as a pipe, the way it's configured. Okay, so there you have it, cutting and gluing the AquaJet. We showed you the easiest way to do it. We hope that you follow our directions, and we want to first of all thank everybody for ordering the AquaJet already, and we hope that this segment has helped you. And once again, this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation, LLC. Please go on our website where you can order the AquaJet at www.intelligentirrigationllc.com.